when your mind is disturbed when your mind is without answer place your mind fill your mind with the lord's word with the lord's thinking and fill your hearts with his presence that's what the word of god says which is called praise and worship praise god and thank god for what he is praise god thank god for what he is to us praise god and thank god what he does through us praise god and thank god for what we will be fourth thing it teaches praise god and thank god for what god is we always sing oh my god in awesome wonder consider all the works thy hands have made i see the stars i hear the mighty thunders thy power throughout the universe display yes the whole world displays the power and glory of god the anointing of god the glory of god we need to remember who god is what a mighty god he is and praise him thank him and worship him so the first thing we need to praise god thank god for what he is what a mighty god we have we always sing what a mighty god we have we need to constantly the great god who made mountains the great god who made the sea the great god who led takes care of everything the more we remember we move out of our heart to praise him to thank him to worship him yes so we need to first remember who god is and second what that lord is doing to us what he has done to the humanity he loved us so much that he sent his only son for us who died on the cross who shed his blood though we are sinners and we are deserved to die the wages of sin is death the bible says hebrews and they say kel 1810 the man who sins has to die according to the law of god but god says 1823 i don't want even a single child to die the law says he has to die but god fights for him no he is my son she is my daughter what is the answer he sends his only son to die on the cross to shed the blood the blood that can remove the sin of man and then make him free make him free what a great mighty god that's why we sing always the him ame sing grace how sweet that sounds that saved a wretch like me i once was lost but now i am found was blind but now i see yes when we remember what the savior has done for us our hearts turn into joy whenever we remember who god is what god has done for us 
we our hearts leap in thanksgiving in worship him and the third thing is when we look into ourselves i see my own life i have done many blunders i have fallen many times if all my sins are made known people might have stoned me to death my personal life my personal fall my personal sin there are too many too many but god as a father he forgives me as a mother he carries me and he has given me the gift of salvation not only he has brought salvation on the cross today i experiencing him when i cry to him lord because of my sin this is happening to me this is happening to me have mercy on me lord i am a sinner lord i find his grace forgiving me and delivering me yesterday a person came because that person went to pray for somebody and after prayer she came back exactly what is the pain and suffering the lady for whom she went to pray transferred to her she could not do anything she became sick as i was talking to god i asked her what happened we are looking so dull she was saying all that for a minute we started to pray lord jesus you are a loving father you are our father you came down and shed your blood for us you forgive your sin the sins of your children and you cast away every power of darkness from our lives you died that we may have life in all its fullness that's what we read in john 10:10 10, 10. you have come that we may have life in all its fullness here we are lord here we are with the fullness of life and when we have mercy on this daughter and may the power of darkness the disturbed god be crushed in the blood of jesus that's all and she felt so much of relief within few minutes of prayer no ointment no tablets she has taken so many tablets nothing has happened when we invite jesus when we make him as our lord and savior the lord comes into our lives when the rain comes how the dry ground is changed the color is changed the shape is changed and the land begins to give new life new plants new crops yes the same day the moment a person accept jesus as the lord and savior the person's life experiences the bloom and salvation you ask us to remember four things every minute of our life to think of who you are that we may praise you and thank you to remember what you have done for us on the cross through your word through your life and salvation third you want us to remember who we are to you what you have done for us for me individually how you have led me till today how you have given me the gift of salvation well there are so many people in the world you chose me lord why help me to praise you to thank you and if i surrender my will to you i can receive your anointing 
and worship you in spirit and truth. Lead me to that life, Lord, of worshiping you in spirit and truth that my will be surrendered to your will, that your heaven will be part of me. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. My dear friends, Sangamam Plus TV is God's gift for you for our times. Like, comment, share and subscribe. God will do wonders in your life. Praise the Lord.